Hey, good morning, everybody. This is Clifford Penn, Flamingo Power Wash. Back with a video for you guys. Today, I'm out working in um, South Tampa at McDill Air Force Base. You guys probably heard about it before. Um, military base down here in Tampa, Florida. Me and EJ are collabing on this job. We're going to be doing some flat work for them. We had this little service mall. This little strip mall right here they got. There's a little barber shop. They got Marco's Pizza right there. They got a daycare over there. Subway, post office. But we're here, we're gonna be doing this flat work for them. Get rid of all this algae. Shouldn't take us too long. Probably be here about an hour, hour and a half maybe. Depends. But I say about an hour. Got my boy EJ out here. We about to knock this out. You see the Crocs? You see EJ. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna be doing this little patio form right here. We're gonna be doing um, using our downstream injector. Uh, to apply an SH mix. Looks like somebody tried to pressure wash this before. Look at the lines <laughs> from the one. And the red tip or something right there. Look at that. <laughs> right now we got about 150 feet of holes, 3 8 holes, all the way down here. The water's picking down on this job is way at the end of the building. And I have a hundred foot garden hose. Uh, right now we're filling up the buffer tank before we can start washing. Streaming the concrete, loosen up the algae before we start our surface cleaning. Um, you guys always asking, how do we get these kind of jobs? It's simple as walking in to a place that you see that's dirty and uh, sell yourself, man. And just let the customer know that you know, what you can do for them and how they can benefit from you know, pressure washing or just having a clean building. Um, this job here is how we got this job. My man walked in, talked to the manager, and uh, a week later we're here. Nice and easy job, and we're gonna get paid well. Probably gonna be here, like I said, about an hour, maybe an hour, an hour and 15 minutes probably. But um, right now we're just gonna lay this uh, SH down. Let it go up for a good 15 minutes and then uh, we'll start surface cleaning. about six minutes to do uh to soap all this area right here that we can get right now i'm gonna clean the injector out let's just start surface cleaning so as i told you guys on my downstream injector i have a i have a three-way ball valve quarter inch Right now, it's on the SH, which is in my 55 gallon tank over there. I'm gonna switch it to water. So 
so I can change out the in, uh, rinse out the injector. So now it's gonna be pulling from the buffer tank right here, just to make the injector last longer. All right, go ahead. So right now EJ's rinsing out the injector. So we're just gonna spray until clear water start coming out. And right now it looks like it's all water and no soap. No, no soap. Keep spraying a little bit more. Alright, so right now it's clear water. Alright, good. Can clean up to here. Clean all this area. To where he's at right now. You want to clean it because you don't want the dirt to settle down back in the concrete. Makes it easier if you just go and rinse it out.
right guys, we all done with the job here. Came out real good. And uh, right now it's 12.30. So like I said, it took us about an hour. This is the product here. Let's check out this side over here with the patio. Patio nice and clean. They only want us to clean up to this point. So let me show you guys the difference. As you can tell, clean side, dirty side. She didn't want us to uh, clean that area. So this is where we stopped. And we clean all this going that way. Nice, easy job. Uh, since we're on the base, we're gonna take advantage of stopping at a uh, couple other places. There's a Burger King on the base. And uh, we're gonna go over there and see, you know, if we can get in contact with one of the managers or a GM or somebody. Uh, since, you know, pressure washing companies don't have really have access to the base, you know, unless they're coming in for, you know, somebody called them. So a lot of things are in here are dirty. So therefore they're not being taken care of, you know, they've been neglected until somebody comes in and say, hey, I pressure wash. So we're gonna go stop at this Burger King and see if we can talk to somebody. And I'll uh, see you guys in the next job. Peace.